In this video I'm going to show you four different ways to find jobs for your recruitment or staffing agency so that you can do business development and find potential clients. The first method I'm going to show you is in clay. Now one of the first things to be wary of in clay is you might be tempted to go straight to this option, find jobs. The problem with starting here is it doesn't give you many filters over the company. So if you want to filter out recruitment agencies, staffing agencies, software companies and marketing agencies that are targeting your target ICP, it's better to start with find companies. And this gives you a lot more control over the companies that you're looking at that might have jobs. So you can put in the industries, you can put in the employee headcount range here. You can exclude different industries like software, like recruiting, like human resources services. So we generated this list of construction companies in the US. And so from there, in your workspace, you can go to create new table. And now when you search for find jobs, you can select the list that you just created. So in my case, it's this list. And from there, you can put in the job titles. So one tip that I want to give you is to use ChatGPT to ask it for a comma separated list of job titles in your industry that are related to whatever the job is that you want to focus on, project manager. Okay, so this is the prompt that I wrote and it output these job titles. So in clay, I can put those in. And then I can exclude things like intern and junior and associate and so on. You can then search for specific words within the job description, which is great. And then you can put in the location of the job. The job type, in this case, we want to focus on permanent jobs only. If you toggle on has recruiter, the total number of resulting jobs is going to be way smaller, but it is a good backup search because you know that these people are a stakeholder in that job. So it is good to do this in addition to doing the normal search that I'm doing right now. Posted date, you could say something like posted within the last 90 days. So you can see it's generating our preview and that's going to take a while because there are 25,000 companies. But luckily for you, I already ran that search and the result was 630 jobs. Now the second method I'm gonna show you is Apollo. So what we've done here is we've just put in CEO, founder or owner or managing director because what we're trying to do here is just figure out the number of companies that we can find that are hiring. So you can see that by putting these four job titles we're not putting in, you know, project director and head of PMO and things like that. We just want to see how many companies we can find. And in most companies, there's only one CEO, or there's one founder or two co-founders or one managing director. So if there are 900 results, you can see a little 900 down at the bottom. That means that there are close to 900 companies that are hiring for these kind of jobs in Apollo. So Apollo is getting us more results than clay in this example. And you can see that we've put in the location of the lead is United States. The number of employees is 11 to 200, basically just the same as clay. And then we're excluding, so we've got construction, civil engineering, architecture and planning as the industries. And then we're excluding recruitment related terms, SaaS and software and marketing. And then the job postings. So this is a great thing about Apollo is that it has this job postings feature where you can search for specific jobs where they're located in the United States and they're posted anywhere from, let's say 90 days. The only thing that it doesn't give us is whether that job is full-time, part-time, temporary contract internship and so on. And also Apollo doesn't give us the actual job description. It just tells us that these leads, these people work at companies that are hiring for these types of jobs. We have 
900 CEOs or founders, compare that to Clay, which gave us 630. Now the third method is to use a tool like Appify. So if we look at actors here, we have things like LinkedIn Job Scraper, Indeed Job Scraper. If we take a look at the LinkedIn Job Scraper, put in the job title, you can put in the job location, and then you can put in a company name. So if you have a list of companies from, say, Play or Apollo, you could put those company names into here and you can click on bulk edit and paste in the list like this. What it needs is the domain name and then you can set that and then it will scrape LinkedIn to find jobs in those companies. Now another good thing about Appify is that you can set up a task. So you can create a task and tell it to basically run a predefined search repeatedly and you can set it up to schedule that task to run daily or once every three days or weekly or whatever you want. Another good feature is that it can connect with Clay. So basically it can run on a schedule and every time it finds new jobs, it can push those into a Clay table on autopilot. Downsides of Appify are that it's got some fairly complicated pricing and you tend to have to pay for each actor individually. There's another one though, which is a Indeed Job Scraper, which allows you to perform a search within the Indeed website and use all of their filters. And then you can copy that URL and paste that into the Indeed Job Scraper, like this link here. And from there, <clears throat> it can run and you can set it up to run that task on a schedule as well and push the results into Clay. But the fourth method that I'm about to show you is by far my favorite method, and that is by using Triggerfy. So inside Triggerfy, there are a lot of incredible features and I'll do more videos on it in the near future. But the one that I wanna show you today is the find jobs feature. So there are a few reasons why this is so awesome and why I've saved it to the end of this video. The first reason is that it's actually searching many different job board websites. So I think something like either 12, 14 or 15, I'm not sure of the exact number. The second reason is that it gives you very nice control over the search function. So let's take a look at this. Job post titles, project manager, you can also search within the job posting for the keywords and you can search for the country. So in this example, we're doing United States, cities, industries, and then exclude industries. This is another great feature. So we have staffing and recruiting. We have human resources services. We have software. And then the company size, so 10 to 50 and 50 to 200. So now it's pretty much the same and the last 90 days. So let's run that and generate a preview. Clay gave us 630 jobs. Apollo gave us 900 companies, pretty much. You can estimate maybe 800. And then Triggerfy has found 9,332 jobs and what you would do from here is select all of the jobs that you want now i'm not going to select 9332 because it would affect my jobs credits down here so i'm going to uncheck that and i'm going to select and then we go save to add to audience and i'm going to add it to example job list and let me show you why this is so magical here. One of the most time consuming tasks that you need to do for lead generation is to just keep on searching for new jobs. Look at this. So we have added just four jobs to the audience. And if we go over to audiences, example job list, and if we click on it, then you can see our jobs have been imported and it gives us the job description guys. So the job description is in there. Unlike Clay, that would need to use Clayagent and unlike Apollo. What we can do is come into integrations and you can go to Clay and connect webhook. 
and then you can get a webhook from Clay. So let's say if we wanted to create a new table and just type webhook here, monitor webhook, new blank table, and it, it gave us a webhook URL. So we're gonna copy that, head back over to Trigify, paste that in, click confirm, and then we can turn on auto push. And so now it is going to automatically push any new jobs that it finds into that clay table. Also in the jobs table tab, it has automate. So if we click on automate, you can choose to run this daily, weekly, monthly, or quarterly. And you just click on schedule automation, and then it's going to forever run this and keep pushing those jobs into a clay table. And clay can automate the process of finding decision makers in those companies and then push them into your smart lead or your instantly or your Hayreach account. And so basically what you have is a fully evergreen system that generates leads for you. So I absolutely love this tool purely for this alone, although it does have many other features. So I hope you found this video useful. We've looked at Clay, we've looked at Apollo, we've looked at Appify, and we've looked at Triggerfy. Triggerfy being the best option for you to do lead generation for your recruitment or staffing agency. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.